All right. After James had failed to wipe his bottom with any dignity, we decided to go to a nearby beauty spot. James May. Jeremy Clarkson. What's it like driving around under a bucket of your own feces? Are you going to fall over today for our entertainment? <laughs> As we drove along, we began to realise that our motorhoming holiday hadn't been a great success. I'm exhausted. I'm also pretty cold now. I don't think I'm going to make it. Just leave me behind. I'll only slow you up. I don't know why I said that. They will. Covered in egg and crisps and spam juice. I haven't shaved. I haven't had proper wash for three days. The thing about this exercise is that it helps you to appreciate the basic amenities of home life. You know, a tap, a chair. What's more, the speed of Jeremy's motorhome meant that everyone else's holiday was ruined too. Well, uh, that's a big queue. I'm embarrassed. That's a really long queue. I don't think we've sped up caravanning, have we? <laughs> Eventually, we made it to the beauty spot. Oh, yeah. Now that is a view. It's more like it, yeah. I think it's fabulous. Yeah, this is all right. Right now, I'm quite enjoying motor caravanning. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's the first time since we set off that motorhoming is making sense. Guys. What? There's a pub down there. Yes, very nice. I'm going to the pub. Yeah, look, I'm going for an ice cream. Will I, you bring one back? I would really like. I've been thinking about ice cream for three days. I back will bring you back an ice cream. Okay. Would you? All right. And well, then we'll everyone will go, they really do get on those three. Yeah, OK. While Jeremy was gone, I'm afraid we hatched a plan. See where it drops away to the edge of the cliff? Mm -hmm. If we pushed his car there, just park it on the edge, it won't be able to go forwards, obviously. No, I know what you think. Never back it up. That's, that's brilliant. Go on, stick it down there, because he'll see it from the bottom, and he'll see the tower on the edge. <laughs> He's taking the... He well, push it, it, push it, push it. That's good. Mm -mm, that's very good. And brakes off. I'll just give it, just get it right to the edge. Yeah, yeah. I reckon if we. Oh, hang on. Well, that's oh, sh in weather like this, among scenery like that, holidaying in England, even in a motorhome, does make sense. Is that all right? What? What's that? You ruined it. You ruined my Citroen Grand Design and you ruined it on purpose. It was his idea. Oh. It wasn't. We saw in the film you did it. You pushed it off the cliff because you knew it was best and you were a sore loser. Jeremy, it wasn't the best, mate. It had a top speed of two and it fell over. You couldn't even wipe your bottom in yours. Yeah, exactly. You could wipe thousands of bottoms in mine, which is why it was the best. Wiping your bottom is not the only criterion for judging a successful motor. Whatever point is, mine was brilliant and you know it. It wasn't. It wasn't, actually. It was yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're right. In fact, we really haven't reinvented the motorhome at all, have we? No, I'm afraid we haven't. And once again, and as usual, we've completely wasted your evening. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> and as a result of our wretched failure, Britain will continue to be strangled by the glass fibre menace of the caravan until we all suffocate and die pointless and agonising deaths. <laughs> nice to have a plan. That's the main thing. And on that bombshell, it's time to end. Thank you very much for watching. Good night. <laughs>